finally, I think it's finally catching on to the saying, if it's not on the shelf, you can't sell it. Doesn't do you any, it doesn't do you any good, it doesn't do you any good upstairs, upstairs, if you don't have any on the shelf to sell. What's your thought of uh, Dark Horse going with Penguin? Well, yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Because um, uh, I already have to go with Penguin for IDW and Marvel. Just another person at Penguin instead. Um, if, he, if they went to a fourth distributor, then I would be like, what are you doing? Um, it's already difficult enough now that we're, that we're going through three people. Someone else goes to Penguin and doesn't stay with Diamond. It, it's, all, it's all the same now. It doesn't matter. I mean, we actually don't get as good of a discount with Penguin, though, as we did with Diamond with Dark Horse. Technically, we lose, we lose money on it. Um, I'd rather just stay with Diamond. I'd rather them all stay with Diamond. It was easier with one, with one. But uh, I mean, Penguin is Penguins has some has some good things. No, no. It's, I mean, sometimes the packaging isn't good. At the beginning, the packaging was awful. I mean, it was worse. It was worse than anybody's. Everything was damaged constantly. Um, but you know, they're 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 just they're just like Diamond Two, where you'll have you could order twenty of something. Ten could be a one box. Five could be another box. Um, so, so it doesn't this it doesn't do any it doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter, not anymore. So who's left with Diamond Image? Image is uh, Image is probably the big one. Is a big one with them, but you know they still have Boom, they still have Boom. They've got a few of the upper AWA. They still got a few of the other up and coming independent stuff. But for the two big guys, it's Image and Image and Boom. You think they'll ever switch? They possibly could. You know, it's uh, I mean it happened in the it happened in the nineties where. You know, everyone started switching. DC is the one that started the whole thing back in the '90s, and they they were the first ones to go only with one with one distributor, and they picked Diamond. Uh, and so I think it's funny. I think it's funny that you know they're the ones that during the pandemic are the ones that said, "Hey, we don't like the monopoly here. Uh, you know, we want to be able to go. So we want to go somewhere else only because no one was no one. They weren't." They were all shut down for comics, and they found the one tr they found the one printer that would actually print for them, so they could just stop putting stuff out. Well, we couldn't sell anything anyway, so you know. And then you know, so, so we don't like that. But they still only went exclusively with one company, so technically that still makes them a monopoly for DC. So, yeah, again, DC uh, DC started it back in the day. They started to split up again, again now. So who you know, and they're idiots. <laughs> that, that, that company sucks. <laughs> Diamond will still be wholesaling comics, so you could still get your, your Dark Horse comics from Diamond if you want. You can still get your Marvel comics from Diamond if you want, but the discount will be even a lot less than what you'll be getting through Penguin. So you go through Penguin, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you can do. But I mean, some people still get the comics through Diamond. They don't, they don't care. They just, yeah. I mean, they maybe they do don't do a lot. So it's like, yeah, it's just easy to do it through the one here and you know the, the the five comics I order. That's it, you know. But I mean, Dark Horse doesn't sell a shit ton of comics. I mean, they do. I mean, they got a lot of titles, but I mean, they don't have anything hu really huge anymore. It's, um, I mean, they don't they, they don't have the Predator, they don't have Aliens anymore, they don't have Star Wars. They just started to get the the kids Star Wars, the all ages Star Wars book, but that sells like what a, you know a quarter of what Star Wars used to sell. So. Um, so, I mean, some, some stores that don't carry a lot of independent stuff may still stick with Diamond just to, just to keep the Dark Horse because they do four books. You know, why, why open up another account or, you know, for four books or, you, you know, it's, it's just not worth it. The one good thing that, uh, Penguin has going from though, you may, you get a little less discount, we get free shipping. So that's, you know, that's, that's really good too. I mean, my shipping, my shipping through Diamond is, is close to a hundred bucks every week just for shipping and through Lunar it's at least for DC it's like 40 30 40 bucks um, so at least the Marvel books at least the Marvel books now are zero dollars for shipping I mean that would be another 30 40 dollars for shipping so that's I mean that's a plus I mean that's just sit you are saving a little money that's almost like that's almost like a little of percentage you may have lost what was the uh, what was the Marvel tales like 15 bucks or mm -hmm. something yeah yeah I think I had I think I think I had them about 15 20 bucks so they're right about they're right about the same yeah they're right about the same yeah, I think you had a Hulk one. And I had a Spider-Man one. Yep. I don't know if it was Amazing Fantasy 15 or if it was this one. I don't, I don't remember. Know. And I had a third. I had three. I had three of them up there. Probably X-Men. Yeah. Trying to size X-Men. Yeah. Yeah, I had three of them up there. 
But the cool thing with the facsimile edition is that all the ads are yeah. the same too. Then the yeah. Marvel Tales, you got something else. You got something else in it. Yeah, like current ads, whatever. Like yeah. Contemporary things. Yep. First, first Garth Ennis U.S. work, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Guy's great. And we found the first brief, brief, brief gamut appearance. Some people think it's the first appearance. It's for the people who don't have 266 and they have this one. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, they're like, no, this is the first appearance. It's like 40 bucks. 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah, 30 bucks. Now this book, this book is great. Everyone, everyone should have. You're a Goth Ennis fan. Everyone should have read this. I read book. that back when yep. it came out. That was good, and I haven't seen it. I haven't had a regular first print of this in a mm -hmm. long time. Um, now it's they get them in a it's, they they make it in a, instead yeah. of a trade paper they make it in a little hardcover a hardcover book. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen a regular book in a while, so this will go in a ball. I don't think it'll last very long. One of the worst characters in the mm -hmm. history of disagree. in the history of comics, disagree. the century. But a lot of people do disagree. So it's pretty cool. That first appearance right there. Good Jay Lee artwork. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a pause there. Right. Meaning, I was thinking about if it was good or not. It is, trust me. And I know the world, and you would like to hear me say that it's 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 good. He's a great artist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to say, wow, he's a great artist. Oh, I agree with you. Yes. Oh, wow. good. Good. Excellent. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm going to say. Is Jay Lee is a great artist, and people should love I love his agree, artwork, 100%. especially his sprawling artwork that goes from page to page, like in the Batman Superman, the Batman Superman book that he did. You know, the cape, or, or he had is a tree. There? He had a tree, and the tree, the tree went like from. I think it was her first early issues. It was hmm. uh, you. What you were book? reading it. You what book is that? Batman Superman, Superman. or Superman Jay Batman? Lee. Yeah, Jay Lee. Jay Lee did the artwork. Uh, was doing that. It could have been. Sounds a pretty cool though. Could have been a rebirth or a. Um, what was before the rebirth? New Fifty Two or whatever. Yeah, you were reading it. You you always you said, Glenn, look at this artwork. And I'm like, oh Maybe yeah, it was, it's so yeah. great. Yeah, beautiful. He puts mm. out so much good artwork. It's oh yeah, keep up. Oh, with it is. So I it just, is. It all kind of just goes. right, especially his early Namor stuff. His mm. early Namor stuff. The printing well, process back then, it wasn't kind to him. No. Oh, good. You agree on that one? It was hard to look at. It was awful to look at. I mean, it was challenging to look at. There was there, no, there was no challenge at all. It was it was like looking into darkness. There was a lot of darkness. Yeah. 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 Yanking the the ink. In the printing process, I think really didn't do many favors. No, not at all. It was awful. Yeah. So the yeah. Industry, the industry hadn't caught up to him yet. That's what it was. Right. And now that the industry's caught up to him, then people realize, wow, it really isn't that good. No, his, we should <laughs> probably darken it back out. Oh, oh no, God. no, no. I mean, like I said, he's a great artist. Look at this. Look at this cover. Mm -hmm. well, fantastic cover. Covers, but wow, he does a lot of good covers now. He does. He sure does. Fantastic. I know. I agree. What's that look for? Jay Lee or Kelly Jones? Who you oh, picking? Jay Lee in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Jay Lee over Kelly Jones any day. All right. I like them both. Yep. But I think I saw in that issue of previews that Trad Moore is going to do a Doctor Strange miniseries. Oh boy, that should be awful too. The guy who did uh, that Silver Surfer so thing. Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rand loves him. Yeah, yeah. He'll be Rand, buying he'll that. He'll be buying that. Oh, yeah, Rand will buy that. I mean, he'll be one of three people that's actually excited to see that. Yep. And the other two people read read the book in Braille. It looks, so. It looks pretty silly. You know. <laughs> but you know something? It'll probably be it'll probably be fitting for a Doctor Strange book, like when he goes into mystical worlds and magic spells. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's all just all weird and stuff. I think that I think that could actually fit. Didn't work in the movie though, did it? No, no, <laughs> no. That second movie was awful. Yeah, it didn't work for that. Nope. But I, I think I think I think it could work for the artwork in that book. But I, I still don't want to look at it. No. Um, even even who I think is not a great artist, Mike Allred. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people like him. I get his oh, style. Okay. I get him. I like them in like ecstatics. Decent, I, yeah. You know, I don't mind this. I don't mind like I Zombie when he did that. Um, it was if his he own. Did, if he did like a fill-in issue for Spider-Man, I'd like it. But I wouldn't want him to do the whole run right. of Spider-Man. Like when he did Silver Surfer, I didn't think I didn't mm -hmm. like it at all. He could do a Doctor Strange, and I think that would work. That would work too for his, because you get those mystical lands, and you have. I mean, I mean, all his characters look the same. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, you look, you look at the, you look the character from Ecstatics, and you looked at the one of the characters that were in Silver Surfer. You look at mm -hmm. one of the other characters in Ice Zombie. They're the same. They're the same person. But I think I think he could work. That he could work for a Doctor Strange book. But I'd rather see his stuff just on original stuff, like his own world. You can accept it, but uh, you know, doing something that's already that you've already seen, I don't, I don't care for it. Yeah, Tradmore gonna do, but Tradmore did a book. Tradmore did a book for Image that was actually decent, and I, and I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Right there, that's a, that's a shame about the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, damaged back first, cover. I thought it was like because you can feel two little bumps in the cover somewhere. Yeah, like right here, and I'm like, huh, I wonder, like it felt like like two little grains of sand got caught underneath there and it pressed down. 
So then I opened the cover and I didn't see anything. Then I felt on the back side of, yep. with my hand. Yep. There's, there's two little, two little holes. In it. Fucking weird. Almost like someone took a pen or. Like, you I know, hate the Hulk. Oh, yeah. Man. Did it go all the way through? It went through into some of the pages yeah. too, but yeah. It so. did, like, it, like, it went through the back, but then like it indented all the way to the cover. Yep. Like you can. I just like the cover. Somewhere, yeah. Right there. Yeah, and I think cool. this is. I think this is the. I think this is like a twenty-five, thirty-dollar book. It's second printing. Yeah, what yeah. About the, I mean, it's, it's, in the back. it's about. It's about the price of the first. I mean, because I think the the first print is going for like twenty-five, thirty bucks mm -hmm. also. And the, if you get the third printing, that's the one with the purple. The, the the that's all green. The first printing. Yeah, but what's the one that has like the purple Hulk up here? Or it's a different color Hulk, or the, or is it that? Or is it just the third printing of that one? I don't know. I thought there was a color thing with the third printing. The third print is a different color. Yeah, it was a different color. I don't know if it was all gold or if it was all. Uh, it, 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 it didn't have the green color. Like the, the, the font's different. The yeah, gold, yeah, but the, the yeah. different color. But but the like, but the first Hulk, is it the 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 first print Hulk wasn't green, this all seven, green? Seven. Oh, well, I can tell you. You just right bought now. one last night. I know, but I so don't did you look at it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the the, the cover's I, all green. And I, I thought there was something with the top. The top. Uh, the top. The top Marvel Hulk thing. too. Yeah. That made it because you know, the print run was real low. Well, because the third printing came out like ten years after the first the first ones came out. So just for that only, I believe it was it was only like for a Walmart thing. Um, but we had one. So of first it. print. Yes. Green right. and purple. Green and purple for the first print. Green and purple, for the first print. This is the second print. There are four variants. It says. And then the third print was a really short print. It came out like ten years after. Um, so that's the, that's the second print right there. Yep. Second print is the green and gold. Third print. I've never seen this one before. Oh, this is the uh, this is the three hundred fifty dollar one, right? Yes. Now. I've only had one in. It's like yellow and purple. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that that one there. I've only had one of those in the store in thirty years. Well, then and again, then I was here long before this book came out too. But the international version is uh one point two thousand. No, I never. Carlos promo. Never knew it was Giveaway or originating from Finland. So this is the second printing. The first one I got last night, and then you yeah, got the yeah. Yeah, the third Hulk. variant third print by Dale Keown. The top Hulk's purple with along with uh, the words. Now that third print, I've only had one in the store ever, and the thing was just trashed. It was too bad too, because I was so psyched when I got it. Oh, look at third print, never had it, and it was just beat. But it, it was still like a thirty dollar book beat, um, and it was on the. It only it only stayed on the wall maybe for a day or two. Because someone else goes, I never see, and you never see a third print. I'll buy this. I go, it's kind of trash, you know. Okay. Yeah, I never knew there was an international, but there's, there's a lot of international yeah. stuff, too. Uh, yeah. We have another stack over there. Oh, okay. Ooh, I will take care of those. Like a freaking slave driver over here. Like, price those big books, bitch. Over there. I know it said that. He went, through, he went through four or five boxes yesterday, too. Yeah, we have four boxes of needed stuff. Like yeah, no, boxes wait, in my car. Oh, no. yeah. I don't understand how vertical works. Yeah, come on. Vertigo is way too confusing for this guy. He's even walking through the regular DC. Yeah. You know, you know if it's not my light, I have no clue. What about this Doctor Strange 28 with the Ghost Rider? Back in the back in the day, this was this was like a ten fifteen dollar book. It's probably a four dollar book probably now. Probably very fine, eight dollars. Still four bucks. That's just Doctor Strange. Was, I mean, Ghost Rider was hot back in the day. Yep. Thirty one is a twelve dollar book. Really? Oh, that's Infinity Gauntlet crossover. Thirty four is uh, like a nine bucks, nine dollar book. Ooh, Thirty-five and thirty-six are twelve dollars. He had a lot of he had a lot of Infinity Gauntlet crossovers. He was a big part of it. And then we went back to Behold the Franken Surfer. It sounds like a bad eighties movie. Yeah, the bad eighties comic. Well, that's actually a nineties comic now. Forty-six is twenty-two dollars. We're only up to 40, 40 right now. Whoa! Look at him there. It's like in the movie when he was a zombie. Yeah. After like being in the ground for 10 minutes. <laughs> this was Infinity War crossover stuff. The Infinity War was not good. Yeah. 46 was the expensive one. We don't have it here. Isn't that one like 10 bucks or something? Yeah, this could be a little more because it's uh, that? pretty color number 50. First appearance of the Necromancer is number 46. 47 is the first cover of the Necromancer. That's another expensive one too. 47 right here. What is that? The first, the first cover of the Necromancer. Doctor Strange. He's not, he's not, Someone's he's not looking for it. They know what they're looking for. Yeah. What is that? Sandman. No, we didn't look at that yet. That's got to be gone through. That's part of. I wish I could get Tom, convince Tom to do the Vertigo stuff, but yeah, we haven't gone through that yet. There was, there was two short boxes that have to go to Glenn's that were on the very, all the way to the right, and the two that were still left on the. Well, he all said his car is full, so he's not taking those down. That tall long box standing up with a couple books. Is that got it? So we gotta go through that again. Still look at that. It's right next to the ones that yeah, we. Yeah, that, 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 that was like the very last bit of a, a box I didn't get to. Yeah, I don't know what Glenn wants to do with that Vertigo stuff too, because I don't really know. Oh, this one. 
but you I'm, see at the end. I'm market for it. Yeah, Swamp Thing. That was early, early Vertigo. I think that was the first title that launched the Vertigo line. And actually, they made that like it may have already come out with like suggestions for mature run. readers on it somewhere. The whole thing's preacher. Yep, suggested for mature readers, it's but it doesn't say Vertigo anymore. Before. A bunch of Vertigo shit too. All right, who's in charge of Vertigo? You got a lot of work to do. Tom, not I. Paper, rock, scissors, lizard spot? Oh, it's very simple. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard. Lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. Let's uh, let's finish price up that pile. So we'll get that done, and I'll cash out before Anthony gets back with food. Hit just buff grab a box and check to see what we need, what we don't need. And then I'll have you grab yeah, one of them. Because everything besides other two boxes that these, we still got to go through, see if you got it needed type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, right. These here. So we, we just grab one box yeah, and we can exactly. go through it. Yeah, these three are vertical. Yeah. Emotionally. They put that card back in the comic. No, that, card, that card goes with the comic. So, yeah. Do you think someone wants this card? It's there, though. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's not uh, complete without it. It can't be can't be mint without the card. Right. I, all the other ones, I put all the cards back in the in the book, too. Because those used to come, they, they came back. Yeah. yeah. So at least they have all the stuff. They don't have the bag, but it comes with everything but the bag. So they're not losing. They're not losing anything. Thank goodness for that. Hey, well, some people. Know. Some people are touchy. And these Lucifers. Yeah, Kid Eternities. Those Somebody I haven't. Those, I, I haven't move. checked those. I just pulled. Okay. Those, I just pulled those out of the okay. um, sets that were. All right, did you make sets. a? Did you make a needed box yet? The stuff I need the price. No, because everything I haven't done so far is sets. sets. Okay. I got a needed box for you. You got a needed box? That one right where Buff is, with the X-Men and... The one that's almost full. <laughs> Alright, what, did you already bag and border that one? I figured the high-end shit you'd put aside for me to price first to put on the wall. Okay. Now, why would you yeah. do that? It's a must-need. Yeah. <laughs> it's a must-need. Yeah. This stick, material, this stick. I don't know. This just... stick. Yeah, My video is... I'm okay. It's wrong. It's wrong. What do you want? What did you do with those Moon Knights, Corey? The ones that I needed to bring home tonight. Yeah, bust the move. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did all the moves I said separate from me? I tried to bring them home separate tonight. Did you put them all on the counter? No, I put all here. Yeah. Hey, Hermione. <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck is this? What are you doing? What's, that? What's this? I don't know yet. I thought you like it. it. You can't put stuff in front of me. You're not. <sighs> you dummy. What it is? Some of the cool stuff you find right. once in a while. A Popeye book in Spanish. Probably. Spanish, maybe. Land and sea. Or it's Italian. Sink. A lot of fitness senses. Is D sure? Italian? Would that be Italian or Spanish? Mm, I, didn't uh, look I, look up I don't know if you use it. Italian. Italian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looked it up once. Oh, did we look? Is this what we looked yeah, up once? Crap. Yeah. Yeah, because D is in Spanish. I don't yeah. remember what, what it I, meant. Yeah. We did look it up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this, this, this is just some yeah, pretty cool stuff in, to uh, find once in a while. I leave them in. It may not be worth anything, but who cares? It's just cool. Monster in my pants. I didn't, Stop lying. I didn't finish that box. All right. Okay. Set. Oh, on my pocket. Uh, yeah. There's a monster in the your pocket. All I right. forgot I was talking to the, to the roster over here. The roster? Oh, no. How about World Without End? Let's see if we got a set here. Kind of like tonight. The night. Oh, that's uh, oh, look at that. One, number one? Yeah, that's number one. That's worth a couple bucks. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not sealed, but... Let me see. What is it? What's it number one? <laughs> it's not sealed, but it's got the poster in it. It's not like a reprint or nothing. It looks no, it's too shiny. No, look, it's still got the. Uh, oh it still has the. It still has the card in it. The. <laughs> still got all, all the the posters and stuff in it. Remember Super that, shape. Is that? Remember when oh, that's the collector's edition. Oh, the first one. Wait a minute. 1991. Oh, yeah, it does say collector's edition. 130 bucks. Rhino grade. Really? Yeah. Hey, we got a widget number one. I'll, I'll put it out cheap. 75 bucks or something. Awesome. Yeah, Wizard used to be a great magazine, and then it sucked. That was your first Wizard right there. Instead of add, you know adding to me, you can always help. Okay. Wizard was, does not I, exist anymore. Last time anymore. I tried to help, you said you were in charge of fifty books. I, I was scolded. What? You scolded me. How did I scold you? You said I'm in charge of fifty cent books. I never said I was you in charge of anything. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You said this is the only thing my mental capacity is capable of. He doesn't. He doesn't need help. You can keep on checking books. He doesn't See? need help. Exactly. Boom, motherfucker. I do this Tom, work. Tom is getting violent over here because I get. You know what? I'll, I. I I'm this is a federal employee. Don't fuck with me, okay? Oh, you are a postal employee, so I mean, it's. Yeah. <laughs> I better not fuck with you. Yeah. Toxic Avenger two. That was I swore. Sorry, you. You know, message. Right I will go postal. Do you want to? 
I don't know if I can say that either, so it was a joke. Do we have a whole set? All right, yep. I broke the fourth wall. Superhero landing. I looked in the camera and said, I was just joking. Dr. Vengeance was, we were talking about it earlier. We were talking about it earlier. You Obviously, you were working. Um, but Acts of Vengeance was um, where all the big villain says we're tired of losing. They all says let's switch superheroes. And all the villains switched heroes and started just kicking everyone's ass. So there's probably a bunch of issues. Yeah, it was a cross yeah. for like three months. Yeah, yeah, just went through a bunch of, there was no like mini series. It just went through a bunch of issues. So you didn't have, if you didn't read Alpha Flight, you didn't have to read it. But I liked it. I read them all. Mark Wade had an okay run. I mean, I know a lot of people liked the Mark Wade. I thought it was okay. He's, he's a decent writer. Yeah. And then, and then eventually I just stopped reading, I stopped reading Cap. Mm -hmm. Until Brubaker, until Brubaker. And I didn't even read it when That's he came best, in too. Yeah. Rich Havens told me I had to read it. Oh yeah. Yeah, said, you need to read this, and he brought in those issues, and uh, I started reading, and then I was I was hooked again. Now I don't think it's I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's that good either. Not really as good as no. Baker, but no, it's, it's pretty good right now. You read the Sentinel of Liberty, right? Yeah. What? Captain, that's Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers. Yeah. Yes. Steve yeah. Rogers. Yeah. yeah. That's Captain yeah. America. But the um, Silly. but yeah, I, I would still read. I was still reading old Iron Man. Oh, old Iron Man is still is still a good read. And um, I was reading. I was probably some some Fantastic Four the other day, and it was the ones where. Um, the thing was taken to the scroll, taken to the scroll plan. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, I read yeah, the thing, right? I ended up reading. I read the whole. I, I didn't get much pricing done. I ended up reading. I read the whole three or four issue issue series. And again, back those books, it was a half an hour to read. A, it's a half an hour to read a book. I mean, there was there's a lot of words. You the art's good, and you actually stop to look at the art. Uh, you know, unlike where some of the art is really bad, where you just skim over the words and you don't even look at you don't even look at the art. And now some of the books with so few words, you skim over the you you, you skim the book's done in. Six minutes, faster than a Walking Dead book. But yeah, that that uh, that story I think it was like ninety two, ninety three, ninety four or something. Yeah, I just reread it. This is probably like the fifth time. It's my favorite Fantastic Four story, I think. Yeah, so yeah, that whole era is good. I wasn't a big, I wasn't a big, and again, I'm gonna get shit for this. I wasn't a big John Byrne era um, Captain America guy. I wasn't. Uh, John Byrne Cap? No, not Captain. Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was. I mean, that's the one with She-Hulk was in it, and uh, didn't he turn into Malice too at one point? Was that John Byrne? No. No, that was I think I think that time was Tom DeFalco maybe. Mm -hmm. Tom DeFalco is my is my overall He's one of the favorite best. run of Fantastic Four. Like yeah. for I don't know the fifty issues he wrote it or however long it was he wrote it. That was one of my that was one of my favorite huge runs of FF was Tom DeFalco stuff. Um, I mean he killed that was he actually killed uh, Mister Fantastic too in in, in that mm. um, and they became the Fantastic. Three, and then you had a million people come in and take a you know and take his Millions place. Seven hundred twelve, four or five maybe, maybe ten. Yeah. Ant Man showed up in there. Doctor Doom, or it was Kristoff, Doom's nephew or something that yeah. sometimes went around as Doom instead of having a Doom bot. He was he was in it. I think they had Lija was 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 in it. She was a Skrull that was going to marry the Human Torch. The Human Torch gets around. It's okay. Yeah. Right. And then who hasn't he tried to marry? I think the uh, I think that other chick too, the Ch Sharon. I think it was the one that turned into the She thing. I think she was in there at the time. At the time, it was I think there was like nine people on the Fantastic Four team just kind of jumping. Yeah. You had the three regulars. With Reed dead, and then a bazillion other people just just hanging around and helping out. No, he wasn't dead. He went, went in the time stream. I don't remember. Was he was fought so during the negative zone somewhere? I forget what character. I forget what character it was. They 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 only brought him back was because that was a time that they let the image guys take over. Remember that year? Heroes reborn. The heroes reborn stuff. Yeah. Well, Reed Richards had to be live in there. So Tom DeFalco says, "I want to write the story to bring him back." Mm -hmm. Because I think Tom DeFalco, for his rest of his run, intend, I think intended to keep him dead. Yeah. But he goes, well, if I'm, I killed him and you're bringing him back in this thing, let me at least make a story for him to be a to be alive, so it'll make sense. Was, was that the first Heroes Reborn or the second? The first one is uh, when Frank Richards did the. Yeah, Frank Richards had the, had them in the ball from on. I think it was onslaught. I think it was was it onslaught. The yeah, onslaught after, uh, after onslaught when they rebooted everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the four the four main books: Iron Man, Cap, Avengers, Avengers, and FF went to the the Image guys were doing it. And they did like 13 issues, and it came back. Frank Richards had. It was bouncing a ball through all all these over over the year, and it was he actually made the world to, to save his parents, to save his parents. It was actually pretty cool. It just showed how how powerful Franklin Richards actually was, even though he was a little kid. A lot of people were afraid of him after that. Oh my God, this guy this guy could uh, just implode the world. Franklin Richards hung around with Audie and Leech, man thing and Howard the Duck. No more Mr. Yeah. Nice Duck. Yeah. Daydreamers, you get a chance to read that storyline. Great, story. great story. Wasn't there like a like a gargoyle type of dragon thing? 
Man, was man Dragon, wasn't it? No, Dragon Man. Yeah, yeah, Dragon. That was in the, that was in the Fantastic Four, or yeah. they did the um, the kids. Yeah, what was the one with the kids? They had that school. Foundation. Freedom Foundation. The, the, the Foundation. Foundation yeah. Four, five, whatever it was. Yeah. No, this was before all that mm. silliness. Yeah. This was a good story. Yeah, this was before Hickman stuff. Yeah. Adi Leach. You know who Adi is, right? The guy that makes the word bubbles, but it's it's what he's thinking. So it's like a picture bubble. Yes. So you have to read. You have to read the pictures yeah. to figure it out. Uh, like Leach wants, knows what he says all the like time. He wants an ice cream, and the word bubble has an ice cream in it. There used to be, there used to be more locks. Yeah. yeah. And Leach is. And Leach, if he goes yeah. around any mutant, he, he the, they can't. The powers are gone. They, both of them were in the old uh, X Factor. X, X Factor Exterminators. That, X Factor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were in Exterminators too. Exterminators too. Yeah. Leach was actually in the X Men Three movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was a kid, and uh, but somehow, somehow he—he's uh, a little boy that rescued from the lab. Yeah, and he stopped the Juggernaut, but I didn't think the Juggernaut was a mutant. I thought he got his power from the, the Crystal of Control. Yeah, but in the movie, he's a mutant, so they stopped the Juggernaut. He stopped the Juggernaut. No one could stop the Juggernaut. The juggernaut. But Leach did. Everybody. No one did that though. He was, he was running around wild. Even Spider Man stopped the Juggernaut. Yeah. Stupid thing, no, Spider Man. Spider Man made him. He walked into um, a construction site that was all cement. And he just he just got weighed down. He couldn't. He stopped moving. He was just stuck. Mm. Spider Man outsmarted him. Spider Man's genius. Exactly. Dragon, that's a dope. So would my Holy Grail be the last <laughs> two issues of uh, Negation? <laughs> yeah, that would be your Holy Grail. The, the last two issues of Negation were that don't exist. Mm. Yeah. Those my, that's my Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're still sore about that. Just after tw after 20, 20 something years. I know they ran out of money, but you can't just. Those guys weren't poor. They could have just come up, and finished the last two issues, and said. You know none of these. Long. You know none of these guys. No matter how much they say, we love our stuff. We have to put out our stuff. We want people to see our stuff. They're not going to put something out for free. If, they, if they're not getting paid, they're not going to put out the last two issues. They're just not going to have it. They talk a good story, the, these creators, but they're not going to do it. I mean, but they, they're doing it to make money. Um, except for Kirk Busaic. Kirk Busaic was um, Shock Rockets, maybe, I think it was. Yeah. I forget the name of the company. Because remember, Mark Wade was doing Empire for it, and they went out of yeah. business. And um, Kirk Busaic goes, we're going to finish this story. And I'm paying for it, and we're going to put it out. I forget who put it out, but he put it out. He says, we don't make any money, we don't make any money, but I'm finishing this story. And I'm putting my money up for it. And at that time, Mark Wade, being the, he was the biggest guy, and he was always like, yeah, it's all you, you creators, we should do this. He goes, I'm not doing that. Until DC put up the money for him to finish yeah. finish the stuff. You know, it's, uh, but Mark Wade, no, but Kirby said, I put his money where his mouth was. He goes, this is great, it needs to be finished, I'm going to. I'm gonna do it, but unfortunately, the guys across Gen wouldn't do something like that. And they were all established creators too. Mm -hmm. All of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were so all good. Greg Land. So, yeah. so they made a lot of money from the big two. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you know, you had you did have two issues of the negation war, which culminated every single cross Gen book together. This was the final war. Two issues. You ended every. You ended every time. Mean, there's still books that were going on, but this would have just tied. All the space stuff up. What did you do, like four out of six or something? No. Two, two out of four. Two out of four. The stuff had to have been already written. Oh, I mean, because yeah. they weren't late with stuff. I mean, they CrossGen was a good company. The, the ship, most of the shit was on time all the time. So that stuff had to have already been done. Put it out and see where, and just seen where it goes. You know, hey, we already did it. Let's put it out. We'll print it. Maybe we'll make money with it. Maybe we won't. But we finished yeah, our Bob story. the rights for it. Right. And well, I know then bought, years ago they issues. put out like a couple miniseries yeah. or whatever. But I don't know if they bought the rights for everything. But I know they bought the rights for Ruse and they had bought the rights for what Mystic and Sigil maybe. No, it was, it was another M. It was another it was M one. Meridian. Meridian. Mm. You know, so they bought they bought the rights for those. But I don't know if they bought the rights for all of for all the cross gen. They're supposed to come back in Marvel yeah. again. But I mean, yeah, to get those two issues would have been would have been nice. But that's a sticking point of anything. When you want to get up Ross angry, just miss it. Just mention cross gen, and he goes off so the who rails. So the writers in charge of that story? Uh, so I think Ron Mars. Ron Mars. He I know Ron Mars. The space guys. So. He was one of the guys. Um, was, was Simonson one of them? I think. Because you got to find that was him. A wife and you got to find him on husband Twitter. and wife. Yeah, that Simonson was, was with the cousin. Oh, there was. No, Mark Wade was Ruse, I think. Oh. And Mark Wade ended up doing the Ruse for Marvel too and when Marvel put out a miniseries of Ruse. That was a great that was a great book too. Yeah, find him on social yeah. media and ask him what would have what would have happened yeah. at the end of the negation war. 
You had to have already, you How had to have read that. Yeah, exactly. How is right. it supposed to finish? I have issues one and two. Just tell me the end. Yeah. Greg Land used to work on Sojourn. Uh, Sojourn was, was good. And that's a book. Well, like his, was that his first big exposure thing? It's what I remember him the most as far, but I mean, I'm sure he may have had something before, did something before that. But I think mm. that was what may have made his name. Because I didn't stop recognizing like... his name until Sojourn. And Sojourn's the type of stuff, type of genre I don't like, but I, for some reason, I just love the way it looked, and I love, and I love the story. I love the story too, but it's in a genre that I'm not usually, I'm not usually well, into orcs whole, and. Well, they had a whole bunch of different genres. That oh yeah, oh yeah. Movie. Yep, they did. But that's usually one that I don't like. Orcs fight, you know, that whole medieval sort of, mm -hmm. sort of thing, and I loved I it. it was they, my, I don't think they had any superheroes though. Hmm? Like they had like the fantasy stuff, they had the magic first, stuff. The first, the first was, was like, like a space, superhero like sci-fi. Who was the superhero thing? The first. Oh, the first? Yeah. What? Hmm. I think they were a team. I think they were first superhero team. I thought they were like gods or something, weren't they? Yeah, yeah but they had a team. Like the Eternals, maybe, or something. Like so who did negation? Who was doing negation war? The world, wa the world wants to know. Mm -hmm. Ross wants to know. But yeah, cross -trend. I read every cross- and then they started, then they started like branching off into other stuff too. Route 666 was good, it was it was a horror thing, and then they were doing like Alakazam or Alakabaz, I don't, it was like a pirate thing and stuff, and then, so it, it's like, instead of just concentrating and finishing what they're doing, um, I believe what happened was, I believe they got op options for like TV shows and stuff, so it's hey, we're going to be making tons of money for movies and shit, and they just started putting out more stuff instead of waiting until that actually happened, yeah, stuff happened, but I think they... I think they they tried to make it into a normal business where all these people moved to Florida and they worked. I mean, they, they showed up at the office. And they worked like they they worked side by side with each other and to to get to get stuff done. And and I think for the longest while they never had a late book. They, you know, it's you you knew you knew there was a problem when the book started when they started to have some late books. Oh boy, here's the cracks in the wall now. Are we still are we still waiting here? Tony Bernard. Bernard. Yeah, Tony Bernard was yeah. he's been around for a while. Paul. All right, gentlemen. Pelletier. Yeah. Yeah, I know Paul Pelletier. Dave Meckis and Laura Martin. I don't remember. I don't, don't know. Open. Hit the hit the button, the push button. And, and it will it will open for you, friend. Well I don't know if it's loud right now. I'll see you later. Alright, hey, thanks Tom. Hey, thanks yeah. for the help. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, so Tony Bedard was doing that. So you need to go find Tony Bedard on Instagram or yeah. on Twitter yeah. or on something or another and say, hey, tell me something. How how would this have ended? Maybe he's got some pages. And he'll just you know, he'll let you see them or something. But it was funny because they all had certain characters that are the only ones that had the uh, the sigil. Yeah. And they were on different places of their body or objects. Like the ruse was on his cane. on his cane. Yeah. So it almost reminded me of when DC had the uh, that the redheaded chick. I don't know, forget her name. And after one of the eight thousand crises that they have had or rebirths. <laughs> They had that redheaded chick. Oh yeah, right. And she was in each. Yeah, and everyone. Yeah. One of the books went up in super prices. Yeah. Now this is she's going to be the key to yeah. everything and in DC. F that up. Yeah, yeah. Because they said they weren't going to, you know, do another rebirth. Yeah. And they did another rebirth. We just we just made Ross's night depressing. Like, yeah. No. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I'm not depressed. I read every single issue of every single title, and they were good stories. They were. Even ones I didn't think were going to be. We're good. I mean, and some of them didn't finish. Like Soldier didn't finish. No. They never finished. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but all the other ones, like Mostly, the Sigil yeah, finished. Yeah. The all the ones that were in the negation yeah, yeah. one, they had all finished. Like, issued like forty-two issues or yeah. something. They had all finished. Yep. And that was supposed to be the finish of them, and it was going to lead into something, lead into something yeah. else.